Good morning and welcome to channel 48. My name is Puck and in this video we're gonna in fact continue what we were doing yesterday and I'm gonna show you how to create the bootable refit USB stick. So you can use that USB stick to stick it into your Mac whether it's that or whether you want to install another operating system on your MacBook. I'm talking about every Intel MacBook out there, these outdated MacBooks with old versions of Mac OS X uh, that are not being updated anymore. You can install Linux or you could install Windows onto that machine. But to get started, you will need this magical USB stick. You can choose to use uh, a USB stick with the lowest uh, capacity. I have one here from one gigabyte. <laughs> I got this USB stick long time ago. I paid 40 euros for it. It was one of the first one gigabyte USB sticks. I can remember almost 18 years ago, if it was not 20 years ago. So I'm going to use this stick. So how to get started? We're going to do the whole thing and I'm going to show you how to, you know, help yourself whenever you're in 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 need to do a thing like this okay i already have the tools but i'm gonna show you how to get the tools we're gonna go to to google we're gonna type yeah there we go transmac old version download i'm gonna go for an old version because in fact the new versions have uh, <laughs> A 15 seconds delay or so it's kind of annoying where's my mouse oh there and here you can see some some versions uh, here I disagree and let's go for 11.2 all credits to up to down but more credits to the developers of course of Transmac a fantastic application so now we're gonna look for um, refit ISO in fact we're not gonna download the ISO what we're gonna download here it is is the DMG yeah if you're on a Mac, probably you need the tar. I'm not sure. But I'm going to go here for the DMG. You see that? Where is it? Mac disk image. There's this thing here. It's going to be a DMG. There it is. And we saved it. Okay. So there is the refit. And there is the Transmac. We're gonna install Transmac real fast. Yes. Administrate the rights. Next. Accept and agree. Next, next, next. Don't worry, there's no spyware in here. So we just say run. Alrighty. Now. You need the USB stick, and in fact, I already had to put it into the machine, so the machine would find it. I just selected it. Let's see if the application will automatically edit. It did not. So we gonna reboot it again, the application. Now we're gonna start it. Of course, it will not see the refit stick. It wants to be formatted. It's installing driver software and then it's going to tell us that we must format the drive. You see? We can go ahead and format it. This will, this will become your magic your magic stick these sounds 
I'm gonna make different songs. I'm gonna make my own sound pack for Windows. These sounds, they have no common sense. Ew, ew. They irritate people, man. Um, run as administrator. Oh. So now the USB stick should be there. Yeah. What you're gonna do is right mouse click the USB stick and then click restore with disk image. This, this may blah, blah, blah. Yes. And up here you're gonna select the disk image. You will find it in your desktop. Remember? It's called refit. There it is. Select it. And hit OK. And now the USB stick will be created. This USB stick will in fact boot any macbook with the intel processor so if you have an old macbook pro or some macbook white you know and you want to install another operating system on it because your safari is outdated and firefox is telling you um, the last version that you could download was from last year number 37 then in fact you're you're using a yeah a computer that is not uh, up to date and that could also bring you in 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 trouble you know you could lose your identity you could lose passwords pictures anything could happen to you so make sure that uh, you update your macbook it, it's really still possible i have a 1.1 here that i up updated yesterday uh, in my previous video long video you could see that and i must say I'm really happy about the result it works nice it's nice and quiet um, not doing too much fully updated running the latest software of 2018 even though it's doing that on Windows 7 but Windows 7 is still I think one of the very best operating systems ever created so besides Mac and Linux of course I cannot forget about my other babies but it's Windows 7 is really good really this is well this is as well Windows 7 that you're looking at even though it has some some other icons this is just Windows 7 and you can get it that way if you check my video from yesterday and also download the pack in there I have the icons and uh, a tool called God something with God and it will let you change many things around it will really make your system beautiful but not only beautiful but also secure you will have a good system and it's called um, the application that I did this look and feels with it's called customers customizer God so yeah you can find it in the package then you will also have the orbs that you will need to you know to get the start menu fixed and of course the icon pack that you should unpack with your 7 zip even though it's not uh, where is the icon pack let me show that real fast for those that that like what they see I also have an icon pack I don't even see the chance dog oh that's this one here customer card and we should have one more ah here they are this is uh, the icon pack that you can unpack and then you can point your icons in customer guard to whatever you want to change it and that will be of course the updated look and feels of windows 10 so that's it uh, that's how to create uh, a magical refit usb stick i hope that this video helped out uh, still have some videos to come up so if you like what you see and you did not subscribe yet subscribe to my channel but only if you're gonna also hit the notifying bell otherwise you don't need to subscribe thank you for watching once again and see you in one of my other videos